All right, boys, it's an early day. We're back out at Elevated AF, and today, as you can see, I got a semi and a semi-trailer sitting on a lot there. Now, the reason why we got that, I borrowed that from a friend, and today, we're gonna go pick up something that's, uh, that's gonna be pretty big. Basically, I ended up finding this old flatbed truck that uh, has been sitting for years in an old barn, and today, we're gonna go out there, see if we can drag it out, and hopefully make it just another shop truck to have around here, because we need more. Anyway, got the F-350 here in the shop. This one's gonna get built here. It's a two 2009 guys aren't even at the shop yet it's that early anyway we're gonna get going here by the way if you guys enjoyed today's video help me out by giving that like button a little tap it helps out the video a ton and i appreciate it so much and while you're down there if you're not subscribed yet subscribe and help make videos just like this so if you want to see more you know the button's down there anyway let's go see if we can uh somehow get an old truck that's been sitting in a barn for years back here fixed up all right this should be the place here yeah gps on the phone says this is a place big old farm oh man all right yeah that's gotta be the barn that it's in okay where should i pull up here we'll just yeah we'll park somewhere in here all right so the dude said he's not around all day the guy that's supposed to be selling this to me is not around all day here but he said if i need to get it out of the uh, barn there he's got this tractor for us and i have not seen one of these and i don't even know how long you don't see these types of internationals very often but what i will say is this does look really good i like these tractors anyway let's go uh check this thing out let's see what we got here oh yeah look at that clearly they're an international farm i mean they got an international here an international there and an international here so this thing actually doesn't look that bad at all tires are a little low it's kind of sunk into the ground a little bit but this is basically what we want to be able to transport trucks and stuff this is a nice flatbed it's got ramps down here that can come out and uh, you can load stuff on here no problem but it's been sitting for like 20 years in here so the issue is going to be trying to get this thing pulled out of here so we can get it loaded up on the trailer and uh get it going and hopefully just maybe get it running I, I can't promise anything i don't even know if this thing's gonna run but I may as well check out the interior yeah it's unlocked oh okay well this isn't that bad the interior is actually very nice the the seats are good interior is good yeah so the story the dude gave me is uh his grandpa used to run a bit of a towing business and he had this thing here and uh after he decided he was gonna retire they parked it in here and it never moved now we gotta get it out also i don't know what the deal with this tractor is but i'm kind of needing a tractor and not gonna lie this might be cool to have i'll have to talk to the guy and see if uh see if he'll let me maybe buy that depending on what's wrong with it but we're gonna go over grab the international and see if we can get that towed out of there all right i have not ran one of these before but it should be pretty simple at least this international i've run lots of tractors before oh we're running oh man this thing sounds good and you know what else sounds good a brand new gaming PC from Apex Gaming PCs. Apex Gaming PCs has loads of PCs, including the Austin Farmer line, which you can get an amazing discount using code FARMER. They have tons of options to meet the specs you want and the budget. So I'll have them linked down in the description if you guys want to go check them out. Anyway, back to the video. All right, we're going. Okay, oh, this is this is really weird to run. Oh man, it's like driving a weirder four-wheel drive tractor. But we're doing it, we're making it happen. I don't know how, but it's working. Okay, we should just be able to squeeze on through here. Perfect. Okay, now we've got to attach the chain that he's got on here. It's all covered up by bushes onto this, which hopefully it won't be too hard. All right, I think we got it. That actually wasn't even that hard. Okay, let's make sure it's in neutral here. Yep, okay, we're good. It's in neutral. Now comes the tricky part. Getting this sucker out of here. Oh, it is not wanting to move. I don't know if I'm going to be able to crank the wheel on this, but we'll try. Okay, somehow, some way, we did get it cranked. Let's try that again there. All right. So far, so good. I really hope this is going to fit out of here. It might just barely. There you go. Would you look at that? It's out. Okay, now I got to reposition myself here. Actually, maybe I should crank the wheels over again so it'll actually turn that way just a little bit. Man, this tractor's so weird. But in a cool way. We're moving. First time that thing's been out of that barn in 20 years. Okay, now I got to try kind of drag it over here okay perfect all right so what i'm gonna do here is get this uh chain unhooked and then we're gonna try and see if we can get it up on the trailer here this might be a bit complicated but i don't know i got some ideas okay so change of plans i got handed the keys to this thing the guy ended up getting back and i got handed the keys to this so it's gonna make my job a heck of a lot easier this may end up wrecking the bumper just a little bit but it's gonna be so much easier to get this thing on the trailer now like what the heck is this loader brand i don't even know i've never seen this brand before okay that's not that's not going the way i want it to here oh boy this is not going well okay down don't <laughs> don't push it up like that no okay now it's just off the trailer yeah well this is great it's going oh no oh oh boy this is going horribly please do not 
<laughs> don't fall off the trailer. This is not what I wanted. Okay, now a little bit up and over. Okay, we're back on the trailer. We're back in business. Oh, don't don't come off here now. Don't you dare. Okay, there we go. I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. Like we got it pretty dang close. If they want anything better than that, I don't know what to tell you. But I'm kind of the boss here, so I, I decide what goes. But it's strapped down now. I think we're okay. This thing does not look that bad in the uh, in the sun here. It actually looks very good. Oh, I should ask the dude about that tractor here real quick. Because I, I really need one for the shop. I should really buy a newer one. But I mean, we got two guys in the shop that know everything there is to know about diesel motors and whatever else. So I'm sure we could get it running. Well, tractor is secured. It does not run. But the guy said with a little bit of work, it should. So we're going to try and just set this on the back of the flatbed truck here i thought it'd be maybe a little bit easier than trying to get it on the back of the semi trailer because then i'd have to move the truck a bit more oh boy this is very heavy and this loader is probably not rated to lift something like this i really hope i do not drop this it's not on there by much either like we're oh Oh, man. Okay, we're straightened out. And, oh, maybe a little more off to the side here. There we go. Look at that. There is not a more professional loader operator around here. I was going to say, I couldn't have done it better myself, but I, I literally did it. So, anyway, now I'm coming back with two things, which I did not anticipate for, but it's fine. It's fine. This is, this is good. This is good. I definitely needed this. But I'm going to go pay the guy here, and we are going to get out of here, because I'm going to get this back to the shop. ASAP. All right, on the road. Hopefully these two things do not take very long to get running. Hopefully they don't need a crap ton of parts. They shouldn't. They all ran when they were put away. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'll see you guys back at the shop. Well, we are finally back at the shop here. It's actually the next day. We had a tire blow on the semi there. So we ended up just staying in another place overnight. But we are finally back. And I'm excited to get this uh, this other project that we got on the trailer started. Wait a second. Hold on. Is that the is that the 09 Ford? It is. Oh, man, did the guys get this knocked out fast. Oh, and it looks so good. So they p changed, like, the paint color and everything on it. Like, they did so much work to this truck. This is my first time seeing it other than stock. Oh, that looks good. The rims that they chose. Oh, this thing looks killer. Pretty early in the morning here, so it's still kind of dark. Got the TSO tip on it. Okay, I got to take this thing for a drive. This is too cool. They put brand new bumpers on it. Let's just fire this up here. There we go. They got rock lights on it too. Man, they really went all out with this truck. I love the green and the kind of silver color that we decided on. That looks killer. Oh, and it goes. This rolls cold. They put a new tuner on it. And man, does it ever roll cold a lot more. Yeah, this is perfect. I love this. And the old owner of this truck actually lives right up here. This is where we bought it. All right. Yeah, this is super cool. But unfortunately... We gotta sell it because we don't have any inventory at the shop right now we have a little bit but not much so we're gonna get this back to the shop get it put right back in the showroom oh we're drifting there a little bit and uh we're gonna get the other projects that are on the trailer there unloaded and the guys can get working on those all right well that's there should sell in no time okay this is about the only spot we can park it at i'm thinking maybe the guys can get this started here with just having it on the trailer because uh, we just got to empty out the fuel put a new battery in it make sure everything's cleaned out of the engine make sure there's no mouse nests no nothing because it did start but it's been like 20 years also maybe put some new tires on it i'm thinking possibly let me know down in the comments if we should do this but new rims and tires some aftermarket stuff kind of maybe we'll let what's like on the dodge here i'm not entirely sure i want some cool stuff on there but maybe i should just leave it original i don't know let me know down in the comments because i think it might be cool some you know aftermarket stuff but that's just me so it's almost the end of the day here but the guys said they got this thing to where it can start so we're gonna see if it'll start here and if so we'll get uh, this unloaded here get the tractor unloaded and we'll get this thing into the shop because of course all we need to do is just start it so we can uh get off the trailer and into the shop Okay, moment of truth here. Almost. We going? It's running. Okay, put it in gear here. Oh, we're moving. We're moving. First time in 20 years this thing has moved on its own power. The guys found a crap ton of mouse nests in there, but everything else in the truck was fairly good because it was kept in storage. At least in that barn, if you can even call that storage. But at any rate, we're just going to take this into the shop here real quick. It doesn't have much fuel. It literally has like a water bottle worth of fuel in it. So we're going to get this in there ASAP. Oh, crap. They didn't open the door. Okay, there we go. Oh, shoot. We got to get the tractor unloaded. Okay, better shut it off. I really hope it starts up again. <laughs> These ramps in here are actually really nice. 
Okay, so there's no way this thing's starting here, but I just want to make sure it's in neutral here. I'm thinking we'll just get it off of here with the skid steer, which I haven't gotten to use. It's our pimped out skid steer on American Force Rims, which by the way, y'all love that video. So let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to like put crazy stuff on, like maybe just some equipment around the shop. I'm not too sure. Maybe we should put some American Forces on a trailer. Hey, maybe for the SEMA build. Yep, that's what we're doing. We're going to put some cool tires on in the SEMA truck trailer i hope our adapters don't snap that are on here man this whole thing's heavy oh come on now it should just roll but it's not got it that far but that was pretty easy going so i guess we're gonna try the tail handler next there we go look at that oh it's even lifted up the tail handler here okay, i had to grab one of the axles here but we got it there we go okay we're just gonna set that there for now we'll deal with it in a minute but we got the truck fired back up here I'm just getting it in the shop up you go maybe we'll come and swap it who knows? Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe and goodbye.